Chapter 25, Genesis chapter 25, this is Family Bible Reading Fellowship. Then again Abraham took a wife, and her name was Keturah. And she bore him Zimran, and Jokshan, and Medan, and Midian, and Ishbak, and Shua. And Jokshan fathered Sheba, and Dedan. And the sons of Dedan were Ashrorim, Latushim, and Laummim. And the sons of Midian were Ephah, and Epher, Hanok, and Abadiah, and Eldaah. All these were the children of Keturah. And Abraham gave all that he had to Isaac. But to the sons of the concubines which Abraham had, Abraham gave gifts. And he sent them away from Isaac his son while he still lived, eastward to the east country. And these are the days of the years of Abraham's life, which he lived, a hundred and seventy-five years. Then Abraham gave up the spirit and died in a good old age, old and satisfied. And he was gathered to his people, and his sons Isaac and Ishmael buried him in the cave at Machpelah in the field of Ephron, the son of Zohar the Hittite, which is before Mamre, the field which Abraham purchased of the sons of Heth. There Abraham was buried, and Sarah his wife. And after the death of Abraham it came to pass that God blessed his son Isaac, and Isaac lived by the well at Lahiroi. Now these are the generations of Ishmael, Abraham's son, whom Hagar the Egyptian, Sarah's handmaid, bore to Abraham. And these are the names of the sons of Ishmael by their names according to their generations. The firstborn of Ishmael was Nabajoth, then came Kedar, and Abiel, and Mibsan, and Mishma, and Duma, and Masa, Hadar, Tima, Jetur, Naphish, and Kedema. These are the sons of Ishmael, and these are their names by their towns and their castles, twelve princes according to their nations. And these are the years of the life of Ishmael, a hundred and thirty-seven years. And he gave up the spirit and died, and was gathered to his people. And they lived from Havilah unto Shur, which is before Egypt as you go toward Assyria. And he died in the presence of all his brothers. And these are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham fathered Isaac, and Isaac was forty years old when he took Rebekah to wife, the daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian, and Padan Aram, the sister of Laban, the Syrian. And Isaac prayed unto the Lord for his wife, because she was barren. And the Lord heard him, and Rebekah his wife conceived. And the children struggled together within her. And she says, If it is so, why am I this way? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said to her, Two nations are in your womb, and two kinds of people shall be separated from your bowels. The one shall be stronger than the other people, and the older shall serve the younger. And when her days were fulfilled, behold, twins were in her womb. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. And after that his brother came out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was sixty years old when she bore them. And the boys grew, and Esau was a skillful hunter, a man of the field. And Jacob was plain, a plain man living in tents. And Isaac loved Esau because he ate of his deer meat. But Rebekah loved Jacob. And Jacob boiled pottage. And Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, I pray you, feed me with that red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore his name was called Edom. And Jacob said, Sell me your birthright today. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point of dying. And what profit shall this birthright be to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he swore to him, and he sold his birthright to Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils. And he ate and drank and rose up and went away. And so Esau despised his birthright.